let's look at the shell internal variable IFS. IFS stands for internal field separator. We can search the man pages for bash and search the documentation for IFS and bring up the context. The grep command with basic options is described in another video. If we look at the documentation, we can see that IFS, the internal field separator, is used for word splitting and it is used to split lines into words with the read built-in command. The default value is a string with three characters in it, a space, a tab, and a new line. So let's try and display the current value of IFS or the default value of IFS in the shell. We can see that there is definitely a new line character in there because there are two new line characters in the output. One is from echo and the other has to be from the variable. Let's display the contents of the variable using the cat command. So what cat does here is with the dash E option, it is marking the end of every line with dollar. So there is a new line character between this dollar and this dollar. And it marks the tab character like this with the dash T option. And it also displays any non-printable characters with the V option. So we can see that there is a space, a tab, and a new line character in there. Let's use the IFS to split a string. Let's say that we have a string like this. We can try splitting it using the for loop. You can see that dollar numbers has the value which is a string and the shell is able to identify or split it into individual words or the units based on the IFS. And here we have space which is part of the IFS separating the individual parts of the string. Now if we were to replace that separator with a comma and run the same loop, you can see that the value is here in dollar numbers, but the shell is unable to split it into individual units. Now let's uh, set the IFS to have comma in it as a separator and try it again. And before we do that, let's set IFS or store the old value of IFS somewhere so that we can reset it afterwards and set IFS to let's say just comma and if we were to run this loop again now it is able to see or split this string uh, into individual units now we also saw that um, it is used by the read built-in command and there is a file in the current directory if we look at the contents of that uh, file there are two lines with uh, comma separated values let's try and use the read command to read and display those lines and pipe the file into the loop. We can see that it did read both the lines but the read command by default tries to split a string uh, into individual words based on the IFS. So it has removed or consumed uh, the IFS which is comma uh, and displayed the lines or the individual words as such. Now, uh, one way to avoid it is to set the IFS to something that is different or set it to null and then run the command again. And we can see that uh, read has not consumed it because the separator inside of the file is uh, not in the IFS. And we can set IFS back to the previous value and display the contents to make sure to be sure that it is reset and we have the old value. 